Hello again my friends and welcome back to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu of DebraWursu.com. This week my favourite sewing machine went on strike. What I really mean is I was doing free motion zigzag stitching way too fast, broke the needle and damaged the mechanism. This resulted in an ugly scraping noise that alarmed me greatly. So off to the service and repair centre went my precious machine. Despite this little interruption, I've managed to bring you another layered thread sketch collage, Southern Sunset, which is an abstracted view of a beautiful sunset over South Australia. As you can see, this design began with a fabric collage, which I've then stitched with both straight and zigzag free motion stitch. A variety of zigzag stitch styles have been used, from fairly tight, almost satin stitch, to wide, multi-directional zigzag. I love the textured look this creates on the surface of the fabric, and serves to blend the edges of the underlying fabric collage. Blending the fabric pieces with overlaid stitch is a style I'm exploring and developing at the moment, in order to create stitched art, both representational and abstract that, from a distance, gives the impression of having been painted with thick layers of paint, which is suggested by the textured surface of the stitching. Probably the most fiddly aspect of working in this style is the need to constantly change thread colours. I'm using the thread like paint, but of course, have to mix the colours directly on the picture, rather than beforehand on a palette. So I'm also having to constantly consider how different colours will react or blend with each other to create other colours. This process can really be quite surprising at times, when I find the need to use a totally unexpected thread colour over others, in order to create yet another colour. And working on such a small scale as this picture, which is just 3.5 by 5 inches, adds another layer of complexity. While small pieces are somewhat quicker to make, they are, in some ways, more challenging than larger pieces. The amount of thread used needs to be kept manageable in order to avoid distortion or puckering, but enough threads need to be used to create the desired look and colours. Following my usual routine for stitching collaged landscapes, the sky, which forms the background, was stitched first, then the sea, followed lastly by the silhouetted land and grasses in the foreground. You may have noticed though that the very first step was to secure the collage pieces with stitch that would eventually be covered over. As my intention was always to put this little picture in a frame, I made sure I was always stitching beyond the boundary edges of the frame, to avoid having any unfinished edges showing when it was eventually done. The techniques I use for creating layered collage thread paintings is the subject of my next online workshop, which is in development now and will be available soon. Visit my website at debrawursu.com or sign up for my studio newsletter to stay in touch. Thanks for watching and, as always, I look forward to your company again next time. In the meantime, I'll try not to break any more machine needles. Bye for now.